Welcome to the Dashboards General Overview video. This is the first video in the Dashboard Overview series. In this video, we'll discuss the importance of dashboards and we'll do a quick overview of how to view dashboards and some of the basics. Dashboards are a key component of the dataset observability solution. While dataset is focused on ingesting logs and other event data, we're also able to extract metrics and visualization metrics from that event data. In addition to our columnar based data store, we also have a time series database. Saving a graph in a dashboard and loading that dashboard is all it takes for a time series to automatically be created. In database terms, we're creating materialized views of that data. It means that dashboards will load quickly, allowing you to view anomalies and trends in your data. In order to view our dashboards, we're going to click on Dashboards. And in the Dashboards menu, you can directly jump to a dashboard. You can add a new dashboard, or you can view all dashboards. Clicking on View All Dashboards brings us to the Overview page, which will show me all of the dashboards in my account. I can quickly filter by dashboard. So I recently created some dashboards that start with KW. So by searching for KW, this allows me to filter for only the dashboard starting with KW. Now if I wanted to go to my web traffic dashboard, I could quickly click into that link and we'll do that in a second. I can also click into any of the graphs that are on the dashboard. So if we want to click into our response time graph, this is going to bring me directly into the graph that's on the dashboard. I'm just going to click the back button real qu quickly here. And now let's jump into the web traffic dashboard. Just a couple of basics here. On the upper right hand side, you can see that my time is set to the last four hours. And just like with search, I can customize my date and time. So let's just say I want to look at the last hour. This is only going to load the information from the last hour. I can also do a search in the top. So under my table here, you can see I have several pages. Let's say I just wanted to search for the home page. I'm just going to search for home and hit enter. And now you can see I'm filtering and only bringing back the results with including with that home page. I'm going to take that search off now. A couple of other things to note. Underneath the more actions, if I click on view screen or view full screen, this is going to bring me into full screen mode. This is really great if you are wanting to show the graphs on a big screen. You can see it says never refresh. You could also select it to refresh every minute, for example. I'm going to exit out of the full screen mode. Underneath more actions, I can also copy the link and show it, share it with a coworker. I can click on help for more information. There's some things you can do with the layout so you can reset the layout or lock the layout so that the tables do not move around. If I click on reset, you can see it'll show me reorganize this dashboard into three columns across. We can also select two there and see how that changes. I think I actually like the three columns better, so I'm just going to change that back. And again, similarly, we can lock the layout. You can rename the dashboard or delete the dashboard from here. There is another feature here, edit the JSON. So if someone does have a dashboard that they'd like to share with you, they can just send you the JSON information and you can click on edit JSON. And this is where you'd be able to copy and paste that data and save it. You can also do some other advanced features in the JSON that we'll talk about in some of the more advanced videos. I'm going to click back on View Dashboard. If I click on this plus sign, here's where you can go and add your graphs, break down, 
pie charts, donut charts, tables, and numbers. Again, we'll take a look at these in a little bit more depth when we go in and we add our graphs in our next video. In our next video, we're going to be adding graphs through search, but we'll also talk about adding a multi-plot graph and talk about adding these graphs here as well. And then future videos, we're going to talk about adding tabs and adding filters. Um, but these can all be done right from that plus sign right here. And again, these are just some of the basics um, when looking at our dashboards. Stay tuned for our next video. Again, that's going to be searching, um, creating graphs and adding them to da dashboards through searching and creating multi-plot graphs. Thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.